you might then be able to uh, put more money into the HSA uh, health savings account yourself, which would not be reflected on the W-2, right? So now I can go, okay, well, they put some money in, but they didn't max it out. I could still put more money in there. So let's say I'm going to go jump to the data input. And let's say that and here's where I put in that it was a self only plan. So let's say that I then want to max out uh, my contribution. So and this is something by the way, that is something I believe you have until the filing of the return, not including extensions. So in other words, we're looking at tax year 2023, the you, you could set up the HSA. And if you haven't funded it, then you possibly might be something you don't have to do before the year end, which is usually most things you have to do for taxes, but rather up until April 15th of the following year, not including extensions for the filing deadline. So if I go back on over, you can see now it's putting in the 2850 here. So if I go then to my form 8889, let's just analyze this a bit. This is the health savings account, the HSA. We're looking at the self only. So now we have the HSA contributions made for 2023, including those made by uh, unextended due date uh, of your tax return that were for 2023. So here's what the 2850. And then we have if you are under 55 at the end of 2023. And on the first day of every month during 2023, you were or were considered an eligible individual with the same coverage enter 3850. So if you had the family, that's where the 7750 uh, comes in, enter the total you and your employer contribute to your Archer MSA. So we don't have an Archer MSA. That was kind of like the old, the old thing. We're on to the new thing. And then we subtract and then enter the amount uh, from line five. But if you and your spouse each have separate HSAs and had family covered, covered under HDHP at any time during 2023, see the instructions for the amount. So if you were age 55 or older at the end of 2023, married, and you and your spouse had family coverage under an H high deductible health plan at any time during 2020, enter the additional contribution and then add, and then the employer contributions made into. So here's the employer contribution was 1,000. So we subtract that out. We have 2,850 that is still available. So the bottom line is you had a maximum because it's a single, it's a self plan maximum 3850 your employer already put in 1000 that's already given you a tax benefit reflected in the w2 by reducing line one uh, of the forms therefore it's been excluded from income before you even put it into the tax return but then you contributed this other 2850 which then isn't reflected in the w2 and therefore needs to be deducted somewhere else, which is why that's the part that's going to be on schedule one, uh, page number two. And then so it flows through here, duh, 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 and then it's going to flow through to the form 1040. So now we're at the 99. And then we've got the above the line deduction 2850 getting us to the 96 150 standard deduction 13 850 for 82 300. If I mirror that in our Excel worksheet, I'm going to say the income went down to 99,000. We need an above the line deduction or adjustment to income, adjustment to income. And I'm just going to scroll down and say, let's pull this down and I'll just put it right here. And we're going to call, say it's a, it's a contribution to HSA. And let's say we'll put the maxes over here, max is going to be i believe it was just so we have that on our notes the general max unless there's an an, an age limit and so on was 3850 7750 so 3000 3850 3850 and this is for so single fam and seven seven uh uh, uh where did 
did it go? 7750. 7750. Okay. And then we're going to say, make this black and white. And I can't pull in the full amount there because there was an employer contribution. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to data input it and say, okay, oh yeah, 1000 went in there by the employer, 2850. So I'm going to say, all right, 2850, double click in here. I'm going to add that last bit, pull that into the first page of the form 1040, 99,000 minus 2850 gets us to the 96,150, 96,150 on the form 1040, 96,150. Okay, minus the 13,850 gets us to the 82,300, 82,300 page numero dos 13,419. So let's just say 13419. Boom. Okay. So that's going to be that. Now, 